Hey guys, today this is Apple Apps Reviewer, and today I have a special review for you guys. Um, this was just requested by Jordy Dam, and this app is called Sketchbook Pro. All right, what this app is is it's pretty much just a uh, you write, and but it's advanced. It's like amazing this app. I had to spend a few days playing with this thing. This thing, this thing, this app is just amazing. I love it, love it. So let's get started. All right, so three fingers brings up the menu options, as you can see up there. And uh, this app, like I'll show you guys the writing. So watch, you can draw. Oh, wait one second. You get the, you can actually pick your colors and everything. So it actually has brushes. It has all that kind of good stuff. So let's pick a color, black. Oops. So let's pick another color. My bad. So let's just pick r red. All right, so it changes to red, and as you can see, that's the eraser, my bad. So you guys can change to different kind of brushes or whatever you guys want to. See, look at that. You can change to that. I don't know that maybe you want to draw a centipede or like a rusty metal thing. So let's change this to a number four sharp charcoal pencil. So look at that. See, it looks like a charcoal pencil. It looks exactly like one. So let's back out of that. So do three, three. Three fingers again will bring up the option menu, which is really nice. And this app, I have to say, it's kind of like Photoshop CS4 and CS5 in all CS Photoshops. It's just amazing what you can do with this app. It's just amazing. I love it. And look, if you go up to the top corner, there's a thing called layers. Yeah, it has layers. <laughs> so we'll go to the layers, and then you can actually add a layer you can add two times layers oops you can add two layers and then you can go to settings or import from photo library so I'll get that done so look at this see we'll come up here and there will be that and we'll just add a new there we go got a new one so now as you can see I added a new layer so now you go here and now I'll just draw like mess up my drawing three fingers go back to layers and we will go back to this layer and it'll pretty much just save the drawing see watch and it just saves what I just did see that's all the scribble so watch we'll delete a layer now sorry guys I don't have my tripod we'll delete the layer delete and it's, it'll be gone so it's like Photoshop in that way and what's amazing about this app is it actually has brushes too so we'll go to there I love brushes from Photoshop to make like backgrounds and everything for your uh, iPad or desktop at home. You can import these. It's beast. Like, I love it. So we'll go to we'll go to this kind of brush right here. Do a paint splatter. So look at that. And then you guys can change the brush properties. You can change the size and then the opacity. See, I'm going up. I'll put the opacity at 70. Oh, 69. Whatever, so then we'll just uh, go back, we'll click that, and then, oops, we'll go here, and then we'll increase the size to, I'd say, 20, whatever. So now we'll draw, and it'll be bigger. What the, oh yeah, my bad. There we go. So now it's darker, as you can see, than that one, because I changed the opacity, and, uh, you use this app, you can control the settings for a uh, zoom. You can just pinch, like like a picture. And you can just pinch and zoom in and out. So here we go, zoom it in. If you want to get a particular area of your drawing, just get it perfect. Zoom all the way in, and it'll, come, it'll become a little pixely. And let's zoom a little bit out. So there's all the pixels, and then you can just draw where you want. So it won't make a big difference, but it makes a big difference in your drawing when you're trying to do something that needs extra detail. Alright, so let's go back to the menu. And then we can actually select the different dra uh, drawings you have done. Which I've only did. This is my first drawing. Well, I've done many, but I delete them because they suck. <laughs> so uh, we'll go here. This is called uh, the the paint or the brush properties. I don't remember. But uh, you can actually just do circles. You can make squares and everything. So we'll do that. See? And then you can actually create a portion of your thing you want to. Cover, say you want to cover a portion of the area in like a background color, and it'll just make the square. So let's go change the brush to a, to a, not a brush, but a, a pencil. So we're just going to select a sharp pencil. And then now you can select the, uh, the radius. As you can see, I can select the radius, the opacity, 
and then there's all the brushes. So I'll go through the brush menu for you, for you guys. So there's two, three, four, five. That's all the brushes. You can actually have scenery and everything in this. So I'm pretty sure they will come out with more brushes. Maybe you can download. I don't know. Maybe in the store or something as an update. Like, you know, this app, in-app purchases, which is awesome. And I hopefully they do that because I would like to see more brushes so I can do better drawings and stuff. So, uh... We'll just exit out of that. We'll go wait, sorry, we'll go back to the pencil. Alright, so let's get out of that. So now, oh, I still have that on. See, now it's just a lot darker because I picked a pencil. So let's go to brush properties. Oops. Alright, so just go to draw. Alright, so now this is uh, something like, it looks like a scribble, but I don't really know what it is. And it activates that. So you can actually draw like this. So now, if you want like a cool pattern, you can just tap this button right here, and it'll do like an, a mirror image. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So watch. Let me zoom this right there. All right. So now we'll just take this, and it'll start drawing the opposite side equally. So it's almost exactly the same. All right. So that's, that's a nice feature. So we'll get out of that now. And uh, sorry, guys. We'll go to... Uh, that which centers the picture into the middle of the iPad and then that's we'll do this one and then you can layer transform which you can blend layers and you can just do that I'll just check that because I don't have any layers and uh, we'll, you can add this drawing you can save it and I'm gonna save it I don't really like it but I'll save it and it's gone now so now we're gonna go to the option called gallery this option has my sketches and paintings and things as you can see, there's two of them I've done. There's the, my last previous one. And actually, you can you can view these in like a uh, distortion. And then you can actually go down here and go to settings. And then you can go import from photo library. And you can scroll down. Or just import from the photo library. I'm sure there will be more options if you have more options. And then you can double tap this to, not double tap, you can add them. And that was permanently added to your pictures. And then you can just go back to your picture. So guys, thank you guys for watching. This is iApple Apps Reviewer. This app, Sketchbook Pro, is amazing. I love this app. I love it. But uh, I suggest you guys get a stylus for this app. Um, one of the heated tip stylists that you can get. I think it's seven dollars on Amazon.com or eBay, and uh, it's made for this app. The people that make this app make the. Uh, Stylus and it, the stylus is amazing. It gets you pinpoint accuracy on there. As you guys know, the iPad and iPhones and iPod touches are touchscreen, so you can it's heat, goes by the heat of your finger. So watch me do it right now. Doesn't work. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I give this app a 10 out of 10. But I would do I would like to see more updates for the uh, brushes and in-app purchases. So thank you guys for watching this. I Apple Apps Reviewer signing off. Peace.